Hello Internet! You've been asking for it for years, and with over half a million units sold, STX International thought it was about time to give you the official video for the STX TurboForce 3000 electric meat grinder. We're going to introduce you to the product, we're going to show you the proper way to assemble, we're going to give you some pro tips on its use, and then we're going to walk through cleanup. The TurboForce is a meat grinder and is not designed to grind bone or soft bone. If any of you watching are looking for a grinder that can grind soft bones for your pet's natural food diet, we do carry the STX TurboForce 2 and the STX Magnum 1800. Here are all the components of the TurboForce. This is the size 12 grinding head. Most kitchen grinders come with a size 5 or size 8. That means the TurboForce will grind 2 to 3 times as much meat in the same amount of time as other grinders. The TurboForce auger comes with what we call an advanced variable intake design allowing you to grind larger portion sizes of meat, which means easier and faster work for you. The TurboForce also comes with three hardened steel grinding plates, our wagon wheel design for a coarse grind, our quarter inch plate for a medium grind, and our 532nd plate for a finer grind. Last is our beaner plate for sausage stuffing. The TurboForce comes with a polished aluminum meat tray, a front locking cap, and three stainless steel cutting blades. The TurboForce comes with three cutting blades because you're gonna have a better grind if you match a cutting blade to each of the grinding plates. Now many people make the simple mistake of attaching the cutting blade to the auger incorrectly. Please make sure to place them with the flat end of the cutting blade facing out. The best way to make sure is that the flat end of the blade will rest flush up against the grinding plate. Now let's assemble the STX TurboForce 3000. Attach the grinder head, fasten firmly, but do not over tighten. Insert the auger, washer end first. You may have to twist it a little for the auger key to fit in the lock. And then remembering to place the flat side of the cutting blade outward, secure it to the auger. Place your choice of grinding plate up against the flat end of the blade. Now remember, the grinding plate will stick out just a little, so don't worry. And then place on the front locking cap. Finally, place the meat pan on top and you are ready to grind. Okay, so we've assembled our turbo force and we're ready to grind. Please remember that our product is designed for grinding meat and is not intended for grinding bone or vegetables. We recommend that when grinding your meat, you have your meat chilled or partially frozen. This will allow a better and faster grind and an easier cleanup. It has our three-speed control system with stop and reset button. On one is the high-speed setting, which is used for when you want to grind your meat. On two is the low-speed setting for when you want to stuff sausage and reverse for when something gets caught in the grinding head and you need to back it out. Load the hopper and use the meat stuffer to start the grind. Now if you hand cut your meat into strips, the grinder does most of the work. Using the wagon wheel or quarter inch is going to give you a coarser grind, but you can do a double grind by putting on the smaller 532nd plate, which mixes fat and meat more thoroughly, which gives that fully mixed store-bought look. STX offers a foot pedal option with the Turbo Force, which is nice for grinding and excellent for stuffing sausage. And it's just that simple. All the meat is ground. But what about any of you who want to take that meat and make some sausage? Remove the grinding plate and blade and put on the stuffing plate. Make sure you don't have the cutting blade connected during this process. Next, place the applicable sized sausage tube on the grinding head. The TurboForce comes with three separate sized tubes. Attach as normal with the front lock cap. You can spray canola oil in the grinder head, which will allow the sausage to slide easier into its casing. Tie off the end of your choice of casing and slide it all the way into the sausage tube. Put the turbo force on too. The meat will begin to fill the casing. Twist the tube when you have the sausage size you like and repeat. Like any good tool, cleanup is very important. 
The grinding head, the auger, the front locking cap, and the meat tray are all made of 100% polished cast aluminum. They are not coated and should be hand washed and towel dried immediately. These parts should not be washed in a dishwasher or air dried, but cleanup is fast and painless. The cutting blades are made of stainless steel and grinding plates are made of hardened tempered steel and like the other parts, should be hand washed and towel dried after use. And that's our rundown of the STX TurboForce 3000 electric meat grinder.